Paulette Equestria Prologue of Pip Books and Cutie Marks. If I'm going to tell you about the adventure of my life, explain how I got to this place with these people, and why I'm about to do what I'm going to do next, I should probably start by explaining a little bit about Pip Books. What is a pip buck? A pip buck is a device worn on the foreleg just above the hoof, issued to every pony in a stable when they became old enough to start work. A blending of unicorn pony magic and science, your pip buck will keep a constant measure of your health and even help administer healing poultices and other medicine, track and organize everything in your saddle packs, assist in repairs, and keep all manner of notes and maps available at a hoof tap. Plus, it allows you to listen to the stable broadcast whenever you would like, as it can tune into and decrypt just about any radio frequency. And that's not all. A pony's pip buck generates an EFS, eyes forward sparkle, that will indicate direction and help gauge whether the ponies or creatures around you are hostile. And, perhaps most impressively, a pip buck can magically aid you in a fight for brief periods of time through use of the SATS, Stable Tech Arcane Targeting Spell. Oh, and a feature not to be forgotten, it can keep track of the location of tagged objects or people, including the wearers of other pet bucks. So, if a pony somehow got lost, don't ask me how he could get lost in a stable, but it does happen on occasion, then any pony who knew the lost pony's tag could find them instantly. It can even be made to glow like a lamp. So yes, pet bucks really are a testament to the unicorn pony arcane science. And yes, having a pet buck is a big advantage. So with how wonderful and miraculous all that just sounded, it's hard to impress upon ponies who never lived in a stable just how ordinary how pedestrian a pit buck was in the eyes of the ponies living in stable two, and why I was disappointed to have one as my cutie mark. Every pony in stable two had a pit buck. All that stuff I just mentioned, most ponies don't even use half of that. They just use it to tune into the stable's broadcast listening to the sweet, sweet voice of Velvet Remedy in the evening or the latest school singing competition during the day. The stable had two soccer leagues, one which allowed SATS and one which prohibited it. Otherwise, most ponies paid their pet bucks almost no attention at all. The Overmare issued every pony their own pet buck on the day of their cutie mark party usually a day or two after you get the cutie mark on your flank that tells every pony what made you special, what you're destined to be good at. Once it shows, the Overmare knows what kind of work to assign you, and you know your place in the stable. So, no, I was not thrilled that what made me special was something that every pony had which was a lot like being told I wasn't special at all. Sure, getting a pip buck as my cutie mark could have meant I was destined to become an awesome pip buck repair filly or something. Uh, but in reality, it was like getting a cutie mark of a cutie mark. Didn't help that I was the last pony to get her cutie mark. Not surprising in retrospect kind of tough to find out what you're supposed to be good at when what you're supposed to be good at 
is something you don't get until you found out what you're supposed to be good at. So I tried everything. I even tried to invent new things. As a unicorn pony myself, my innate magics allow me a level of fine manipulation that earth ponies don't enjoy. Any pony can hold a key in their teeth and open a lock, but using multiple tools in a very delicate operation, that requires precision levitation. So I decided to learn to pick locks with a bobby pin and screwdriver, and I was even getting pretty good at it. Unfortunately, it didn't get me my cutie mark. It just got me into trouble. I even, to my humiliation, went through the CAT, Cutie Mark Aptitude Test, in hopes it would guide me to what made me special. But no, my CAT was utterly average with only marginally higher scores in a couple of areas indicating that I might be suited for work as a pipuck technician or a stable loyalty inspector. Two options, I should note, that were even less impressive when you consider that it was generally expected that unicorn ponies would go into either technical or administrative work. That is, except the unicorn ponies who are natural artists like Velvet Ramity. As I said before, our inherent magics allow us the sort of fine manipulation that technical work demands. Likewise, the Overmare and her government were always unicorn ponies. It is the Overmare's unicorn magic, after all, that creates the false sunlight used to grow our underground apple orchard. And while our apples might not look like those beautiful red things in the old books, they were what kept us alive. It was only because they let me try my hooves at both positions that I gained access to a pep buck before receiving my own. Otherwise, I might never have gotten my cutie mark. Oh, my name is Little Pip. Go figure. I was given the name because I was the youngest and the smallest, and even my mother had the good sense not to call me Pep Squeak. Not that I don't love her, but when a filly's cutie mark is a glass of hard apple cider. A anyway, funny how names like that turn out sometimes. Pleased to meet you. Here is my story. <laughs>